Police running all in and out the building. What the hell is going on? Hey, the Raiders are in the building. Let's talk about it, though. outdoors nation <laughs> hey just had to do a little quick plug on that but hey shout out to everybody out there in youtube universe we are in the building once again this is a raider twan live and we are talking on the topic of the raiders right and if you are a fan of the raiders go ahead and click the like button why because i like you and also Go ahead and subscribe, okay? I'm going to pay the bills, and we're going to get right into the reason why the the live is titled. Okay, let's stay on topic, yo. The reason why the live is titled. What, what, is, the live, what is the live title? I was like, um, them not being complacent, not whatever. Whatever. I'm I'm about to read what I what I said as a, at the live, but we we're gonna talk about it though. We we definitely gonna talk about it. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Make sure you hit the like button and get active. Join the best chat, and I mean the best chat that YouTube has to offer, and that is the congregation. Yes, our live is talking about the Raiders not being comfortable. Okay, why did I why did I title that? We'll talk about it coming up soon. But before I do that, let me pay bills. If you need prayer for you or your family members, hit me up on IG right there at Twan Twan T W A N T W A N. If we are live, okay, if we are live, you can put exclamation point pray in the chat. That will give you the link to my IG. You can check out my IG. Hit slide in my DM. You know, tell me what's going on with you, and I can be in prayer for that. Also, if you are a content creator, that's also how you can reach me up on IG. Hit me up on IG if you want me to be a part of your show and, and join what you guys got going on on your channel, okay? Also, here at Raider Twan, we are advocates for being an organ donor. That's right. Here at Raider Twan, we are advocates for being an organ donor. I think this is the only Raider channel that is an advocate for being an organ donor. So please come over if you're live. You can put exclamation point, D-O-N, in the chat, D-O-N. That will give you the link to being an organ donor. If you're watching this live or not watching this live, it is always in the descriptions of all my videos, okay? All my videos and all my lives, you can go into the description section and you'll find the link on how to be an organ donor. So be an organ donor. Um. Oh, yeah. Subscribe, 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 okay? We are on, and I'll probably do this more than once today. Um, we are on a goal for 500 subscribers by week one, okay? We're trying to reach at least 500 subscribers by week one, and a lucky subscriber will, if we hit that goal, a lucky subscriber will win a pair of black Air Forces. That's right. You will win a pair of black Air Forces if we get to the goal of 500 subscribers 
by week one. And all you got to do is something for free. Subscribe. Okay. And then you might have a chance to win some new shoes. All right. So definitely we're on the goal for 500 subscribers by week one. And that is completely free to do. So go ahead and subscribe. Um, OTAs, volunteer, wait, do we want to talk about that first? You guys let me know in the chat. You guys want to talk about OTAs first or you want to talk about uh, our new acquisition? New acquisition, uh, number. put a two in the chat. Um, OTAs, get, put a number one. Put a number one. Let me, let, let me see what y'all got today. Again, y'all know how I get down here at Raider Twan. Of course, I, I talk my Raider gospel, but you guys can talk back in the chat. And I'll be reading your guys' comments and thoughts. Because that's how we do it over here, okay? All views, all um, points of views. Are, are respected here, um, whether I agree with it or not, um, it will be acknowledged um, as long as it's respectful because I do got some gangsters in here. So make sure you on on your respectfulness, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> For sure. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Um, Rob Pena, you know, Rob Pena came through with the brown crackers. You know you got to get the brown crackers flowing in the chat. My two cents is in the building, Raider Paul. Good to see you. Navy Vet, yes, yes, Navy Vet is in the building. Salute to Navy Vet. Daniel Barry is in the in, in here. I will probably see him in another live. <laughs> but hey, shout out to Daniel Barry. Milk of Beasy is in the building. That is right. If y'all don't know Milk Milk of Beasy, you guys are playing with yourself. SoCal Sal, good to see you, man. Yes, sir. Nightbot is in here doing his thug thizzle. Thank you, Rob, for putting in the donation, uh, the the uh, the organ donor link. Rob Penny is right on it. He put pray, and the IG popped up for y'all. Also, I, 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 I'm all. Uh, I'll say this after I after I get everybody. Uh, make sure you guys comment. Those are those, the congregation. Congregation, make sure you guys comment. J Dog, J Dog is a member of the congregation. Okay. So also, I haven't I haven't put this out here. This is the first time I'm putting this out. Um, I will be looking to add new mods. Okay. Um, I will be looking to add new mods for the Raider Twan channel, okay? Um, so for the new season, um, you might see some new mods. You might see somebody with a wrench. Um, and, and and let me just say this too. Don't, don't, just, don't just throw yourself out there and, and say a mod, you know, I want to be a mod um, because I'm actually going to be doing the selection process on that. Um, you can tell me you're interested, but that 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 may not necessarily guarantee you being um, a mod. Okay, so um, there will be some people that I will reach out to um, in that in those efforts. I don't put a, I, on this channel. I don't put a whole. I don't give everybody wrenches. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys, if you guys watch my closing video, I think I have like four guys that that were being my mods for the last year um session so this coming year um you'll see a new group um you might see a new group um you might see some new ones you might see some old ones 
um, of mods. So definitely, um, you can hit me up and let me know you're interested, but that does not guarantee you being a mod. But stay tuned because you will see um, some people, uh, some new people, uh, some different people um, be mods here at Raider Twan. Yes, sir. So, do we got any ones, twos? Let's put some ones or twos. If one is, did I say one is OTAs? One is OTAs. We can talk about OTAs. And then um, two, Sinister, I haven't seen you in a minute. Good to see you, my guy. Good to see you, Sinister. Um, and two is talking about the new new acquisitions because I'm excited about both of those. Let me know, hey, you guys, hey, I'm hey, I'm excited about just I'm just excited about um us getting closer and closer to to some real real action. You know what I'm saying? We as much as there's still months and months to go, but. You know, now they're 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 voluntarily working out together, you know, and then you turn around and and and, and you'll see how things flow. They're they're voluntarily working out, and then they're gonna add the draftees that they bring in from the draft and the undrafted free agents, then Bam, preseason is here. Like it's it's gonna like trust me, a, as much as it may be so far away for some, it's gonna be a turnaround as soon as um like as soon like for me, it seems like it goes into hyperdrive right after the um the draft. All eyes on G. My mod is in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I, I I just happen to have my yes sir outdoor hoodie on. Um, if you guys are interested in fishing, definitely. That's also a live link. Um, exclamation point. Yes, sir. We'll give you the link to the Yes or Outdoors um, stuff. So, yeah. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Yes or Outdoors. Okay. Let me scroll back up. Hey, you know, let's let let let's do this. Let's talk about the let's 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 not prolong it anymore. Let's let's go ahead and talk about the um the acquisition, the lineman, Cody Whitehair. Let me know your thoughts. About Cody White here, as I talk about Cody White here, um, Cody White here is a solid pickup for us. We needed help on our offensive line. We had some guys leave for reasons that we that we already <laughs> have discussed and already talked about. But also, um, we just needed help, right? Um, I said it on the Two for One Nation podcast with Eric. We'll be talking about it. We'll probably be talking a little more about it on Thursday. Um, But I was happy about Meredith. I was happy about the pickup on of, of, on on Meredith, and the reason why I was happy about the pickup on Meredith is because I felt like Meredith was 
one of those guys that when his name was called, we could we we could rely on him. You know, and if he would if he needed to be a starter for us, he could get the job done. But now, and 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 this is how things have evolved, right? Now that Cody Whitehair is here, what I see is that Mo- Cody Whitehair will be the starter because he actually is very, um, and, and we'll 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 talk about that more. He he knows um, Luke Getzey's offense, right, and what's expected on the O line in regards to offensive line, right? So he'll be the starter and then Meredith will back up. Um, he can be that swing or that backup uh, guard. And just in that spot, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I, I'm okay with, with, with what we got. Um, of course, I would like to eventually draft and have somebody, you know, for a long term situation. But I think is I think is I think is a big plus um, that Cody Whitehair is here for multiple reasons. Reason number one: he knows Getsy's offense, and you heard me say that before, but I'm gonna say it again. He knows Getsy's offense. So he knows what's going to be expected in regards to how the offensive line should be going. So Cody Whitehair can, can communicate with the other guys that are that are still trying to get an understanding of how to do certain things in this offense. He can say, hey, this is what coach is looking for. This is what coach likes. This is what coach, you know what I'm saying, is expecting to get it done. Almost like a secondary coach. There's a benefit when you have someone that knows knows the, 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 the system or knows the offense or knows the defense on the defensive perspective, right? It, it, it kind of sucks when you have to um, – Go when when you have a question, you got to go straight to the coach because the coach is the only one that knows what to do. You know what I'm saying? There's benefits when you have a a veteran. You know what I'm saying? That that's been in that system. Say, hey, this is what we need to do here. You know, I know coach is working with so and so, but hey, let's go ahead and work on this because I know this is what he's trying to get us to. Because you know what? This is what he had us doing when I was with him. And and that's what Co- Cody Whitehair is going to do. He's going to say, hey, this is, you know, I, I, I know this run play. Okay? Because this is the same run play that we were running in Chicago. And this is how he wanted us to run it in Chicago. So this is what he's going to similarly. It, you're going to be somewhat in the ballpark if you do what I'm telling you. And that's that's the benefit of having Cody White here, here. you know. Also, his flexibility, um, you know, I think he's going to be more penciled in as a guard, um, but he can also play a little center. Um, you know, he can play some center um, if, if you know if situations go. Um, so we got some versatility, right? We have Parham, that's a guard that can play center. You know what I'm saying? Um, Obviously, we have James here that is a center, but then you have Whitehair, who also um, can play center. So, you know, if there's a situation where our center goes down, we we can slide. You know what I'm saying? We can slide somebody over and, and you know, still kind of have somewhat of a, a, a continuity because, you know, knowing each other's, you know, um bodies per se. So those are the those are two uh well one benefit 
And another benefit in regards to Cody Whitehair, but also let me say this in regard and 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 this is another benefit in regards to Cody Whitehair is this Cody Whitehair's contract. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all. If y'all been around Raider Twan for a minute, y'all know I'm about cheap labor, and cheap labor typically is about having you know, the draft, you know, drafting and, and having guys on that type of rookie contract, which is fiscal, fiscally, financially, those are two words, fiscally and financially um, benefits the team. Now, in, in regards to Cody Whitehair's contract, the contract is in its, in its language is a one-year contract, which means obviously we don't have them for too long, but also it, is only uh, the highest value of the contract is actually $3 million. $3 million. That ain't even a lot in regards to contracts, okay? So to sign him for, for up to $3 million, which is a – it, when when they use the terms up to $3 million, that is that in that indicates that the contract is a prove it contract, which means you hit this certain goal, you get a little more. You hit this certain mark, you get you get a a, a certain you know amount. I don't know the the entire entire stipulations on it, but it might be one of those stipulations might be if you're a starter for X amount of games you get a, you know, a, a bonus to the base. So your base might be 1.5, but because you're a starter, that's got bumped up to two. Okay. And then he might, you know, the another incentive might be, you know, be an all pro. We're going to bump it up to your, 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 your three. So, the highest amount that we'll be paying Cody Whitehair is three million, and we're doing that to to get ultimately a starter at guard. So right now it looks like, and 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 this is just how I'm looking at it overall in regards to I'm gonna give y'all a Raider Twan Brown Cracker salute. Oh, look at look! I, look, I'm over run my mouth. Let me give this for the congregation. Greater Twan Brown Cracker salute. Okay. So overall, we have Colt Miller, Dylan Parham, Andre James, and now Cody White here. Okay. There goes four, and then we still need to figure out who our right tackle is. Okay, it could be it could be Thayer Mumford, it could be Dalton Wagner. You know, what I'm saying you you know you know how I'm how I am in regards to the team. Let the cream rise to the top. Let there be a competition for the best. You know, for that, and let the best man win. But right now. Penciled in for me in those four spots is Colton Miller, Dylan Parham, Andre James, and Cody Whitehair is going to be that right guard. Okay. So with Cody Whitehair, he's a starter. He's also had Pro Bowl experience. And he's coming from the same offense. Okay? The same playbook. I'll say it like that. Because it may not be the things that Luke Getze might do here might be a little different from what he did with, with the Bears. Okay? Just based on personnel, right? And I'm going to say it like that because 
the weapons that they had with the bears are not the weapons that we have here. So there might it it, it the playbook's going to stay the same, but how he play how he calls what he calls out of that playbook might be different. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's where we might see a variation. But I'm very optimistic. And and as we are, as this offensive line has been, you know how you know I've been talking about this offensive line since almost since almost last year. Um, the offensive line seems like it's slowly coming together, and I think this Cody Whitehair addition just makes this offensive line even stronger. Imagine this with me. You got Colton Miller, Parham, Andre James. They all have chemistry. So from the center all the way going to the left or, you know, going going to left tackle, I'll just say it like that. Going to left tackle, they know each other. Then you have... Cody Whitehair come in, veteran, knows knows what's expected. And then what I would like is if we um, got Fuaga, okay? And, and, and let me throw another one, Fatanu. I'm probably saying his name wrong, but um, that's another guy that I might, that I'm starting to get a liking to. Um, but have him at right tackle and look at how solid our offensive line could possibly be from there. Right. Um, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting, you know, I'm itching like everybody else to see what, what's going to happen in the draft. Um, and, 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 See if we fully address that front. Okay. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Why? Let me tell you why. Fucking Why? Why? Hit that like button. Why? Because I like you. <laughs> That's right. Hit that like button. Because I like you. Even though you may not like my takes, I like you. Okay? Um... And if you like the Raiders, go ahead and subscribe. Because it's free to do. All right. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Ooh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I'm going to read some of your guys' comments in regards to Cody Whitehair before we move on. Okay. Everybody saluting each other. Navy Bets in the building. Shout out to everybody. Look up easy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I don't even like you, Twan. I love you, bro. Hey, hey, much love, Rob. You already know. You already know what it is over here, dog. You, you know, you know it's all love, man. Appreciate you, man, and, and what you do for the Raider Nation. If nobody else has told you that, I appreciate you, Rob, for what you do for the Raider Nation.
Raider Paul said, Raiders! Hey, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Hey, don't, man, don't, hey, man, don't get me over here. Don't, don't have me break my, my, my devices over here. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that just gets me hyped. You know what I'm saying? I, and we'll talk about getting hyped a little bit later. Trying to stay on topic, y'all. You see, y'all, y'all be getting me wild, wild out here. Sinister is in the building. <laughs> hey, look, hey, is is it's one of those things. I love when y'all y'all be talking to each other. <laughs> y'all be having full full. Hey, what are y'all doing? What's going on? Can I can I do this or whatever? I ain't gonna say it because you know I don't want to incriminate nobody. But uh... <laughs> yes, sir. Let me know your thoughts on Cody White here. Salute to Sinister and his and his and his new new. D Menace is in the building. I see you, dog. Blessings to you, man. J does say we need to draft Cle Clemson linebacker Trotter. Uh huh. That's a guy that I've been looking at. Um, J Dog, just to, just to you know address your comment there. Um, because we need to address linebacker. We definitely need to address linebacker. And if you catch my live, if you caught my last live, um, and if you have not, go back and watch my live that said F them picks. Um, because that is one of the things, one of the places um, that that is about to get hit pretty soon. Um, and we need to make sure that we're addressing that area so yeah trotter jeremiah trotter uh from clemson yeah i, I like him at, at, at linebacker Somebody got a job interview, okay? Good luck to you and your job interview. I don't know exactly who is it. Oh, Sinister. Yeah, yeah. Get get your money while there's money to be made, dog. And I'll be praying for you um, in that. Lakers in five. Hey, Lakers channel, 
you guys want to definitely be a part of, go over to Lakers in five. Okay, Lakers in five. They're gonna he's gonna be live today in probably about an hour or so. Um covering uh the Lakers game. So if you want a, a good channel to check out or listen to while you're watching the Lakers game, that's also a good, good, good spot to go is Lakers in five. They be wilding over there just like the Raiders. So you, you'll you'll feel right at home. Okay. I you know what you guys I'm look this is this is a um I think I think, I think we're going to move on in regards to um we talked about Cody Whitehair, Mer- we everybody we already know about Meredith, right? Um I think that again that solidifies our offensive line in regards to guards, um, we'll see, you know, they, they, they might add more in the draft. Um, you know, Telesco is going to do what he needs to do to, to, to completely fill out this roster, but I'm, I'm starting to see where it's starting to form and, and I'm, and I'm starting to be more okay <laughs> with, with, with what's going on. Cause I know, and, and we should know too, that, the success of our offense is going to be predicated on the success of our quarterback and the success of our quarterback is, is going to be based on the, based on the success of the offensive line. Simple as that. The overall offense is, is going to be predicated on the success of the quarterback and the success of the quarterback is going to be predicated solely on how that offensive line is blocking. Cause if that uh, offensive line is blocking where that quarterback can just sit there and really look at scan the field and, and find who's open, then, then we're going to be in a really good place. You know, when you start watching when you start watching the NFL and you start watching some of these other teams and that quarterback drops back and it looked like he's just sitting there watching a whole TV show before he throws the ball. And I, and I, and I'm, and I'm, you know, figuratively, but you guys know what I'm talking about. It just, he's just sitting there like, okay, somebody going to get open. Oh, he's open. Okay. Like, that's how we need to get this offensive line. Not saying that all players are going to be like that. You know what I'm saying? Not all players are going to be he's going to be sitting there for a whole, you know what I'm saying, five seconds or whatever. But when you have an offensive line that's just blocking and blocking and that that just makes it comfortable. You know what I'm saying? And when, when a quarterback is comfortable, then that quarterback starts, starts threatening defenses. Because we know that a defense can't cover for so long. Shout out to Raiders Allegiance. Good to see you. If you guys have not, go ahead and subscribe to his channel. Get your morning fix. And so Lakers, hey, hey, Lakers and five. <laughs> Let me stop. Um, okay, OTAs, OTAs, OTAs. Okay, I think we can move on from the offensive line stuff because I'm, I think I'm, I, I think I'm okay with, with the direction. I'm not saying we're completely done with our offensive line. Um, I think we'll address a lot of that in the draft, um, but. OTAs. I'm excited about this voluntary OTAs 
and it looks like the numbers of who's in attendance is a lot of people are on board. Voluntary OTAs means is voluntary. Doesn't mean that you doesn't mean that you're uh, that you have to be there. But it's for the people that want to be there. I'm gonna say that again. Volunteer OTAs are 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 for people that don't have to be there, but want to be there. And we have a team that is showing all that want to see and all that want to watch that they want to be there. Okay? When you see, you know, Tyree Wilson coming in, hungry and ready for work, knowing that he still has a lot to prove, So he's putting the work in. Seeing, and you guys are going to hear, hear it here first, Jack M. Jones. Okay? Jack M. Jones. Okay? Jack M. Jones being hyped, being excited, ready to get that work in. Bring the energy to the team and finally feel like he's in a place where he feels at home. That all benefits the Raiders. That all benefits the team. And I said it a most, multiple times, but I'm going to say it again. When you have the leader, Max Crosby, Christian Wilkins, that fits that vibe. A Gardner Minshew that that can talk his trash and do 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 the do the weird things that he does, and him fit in. Jack Jones, like I said, running around making noise, talking that stuff. But also backing it up when he gets on the court, when he gets on the field. Fitting the vibe. Fitting the energy. Fitting the Raider way. Man, I'm excited, man. I, you know, I know they dropped these videos to get us hyped, and and it did exactly that. You know, seeing them walk in. You know, walk up to the facilities, get excited to get in, to put in that work. And, you know, watching the press conference. You know, watching um, let me start off with Aiden O'Connell. With Aiden O'Connell. Saying, I know there's a, and I'm paraphrasing, I know there's a competition. But I'm not going to let it get to me. I'm just going to put the work in. There goes one. Robert Spillane. Talking about these young guys that they're going to bring in. These young guys that are already here. I need to be on top of my game or I'll be easily replaced. Not being comfortable with knowing that, and he knows it. I know he knows it. I know that he knows that he's the, he's our, he's our best linebacker. He he knows that, but he's not working like he's our best linebacker. He's working like he can be easily replaced. That somebody is right behind him wanting his job. And that's exactly the mentality 
that Robert Spillane is bringing to the table. To Max Crosby saying, yeah, I know Christian Wilkins is here, but we got a whole lot to prove. We haven't, we haven't even, we haven't even rushed together yet. I'm not setting, I'm not setting, I'm not being comfortable. And there goes my, there goes my live title. I'm not being comfortable with us just being good on paper. I'm going to put in the work. I'm going to do the best I can while I can. And be a leader in that effort. I'm going to bring the energy. I'm going to bring the effort. And all these critics that want to, you know, not, not, not give me my dues. Yeah. I notice you too. But I'm going to put in the work because I want to be the best defensive player in the NFL. And that's Max Crosby. So the Raiders are not comfortable. Tyree Wilson is not comfortable. He's not happy with how he played last year. He knows and hears all the the backlash of those that bash Tyree Wilson. And he's on a path of not being comfortable with being the first round pick. So OTAs where they don't have the voluntary OTAs where they don't have to be there, but they want to be there. The reason why they want to be there is because they're not happy and not comfortable with what, what how they play. They're not comfortable with how the team's record came out to be. They're not comfortable on how this offense played. They're not comfortable on how this defense played. They're not comfortable. And being not comfortable is a good place to be in. Because guess what? Our head coach, he's going to feel that fire. He's going to be a part of that vibe. He's going to be a part of that energy to move this team forward. So I don't know about y'all. But I'm excited. I'm excited. I, 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 you want me to keep going down the list? I can keep going on players that still have a lot to prove and know that they're not comfortable with where they are as a player. Why did we see, and, 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 and I'm going to try to move from it, but this is just how I'm feeling right now. When we saw Zamir White lifting all that weight, putting in that work, I think he was lifting a little too much, too much for me, but hey. That's him. And he wasn't comfortable. He's coming back. And got something to prove. I told you guys about Aiden O'Connell. He knows what's out there in the street. He know, he know the word on the street. But he's not comfortable with that. As much as AP has belief in him, he still has something to prove. And just like that West Coast song from Snoop Dogg, I love it. 
Hey, I love it. I love it. I don't think there's anybody on this team. Anybody that we're really relying on that does not have that same vibe. That they're not comfortable. And all of that, all that does is benefit the Raiders. Let me guys let me know what you guys think in the chat. Alfredo, good to see you. Good to see you, Alfredo. The boss with the sauces in the building. Red Romeo, I see you. Good to see you. Blessings to you today. Thank you, D-Minutes. Lakers in five is right there. If you guys are interested in the link, the official... Um, Legal services of the Raider Twan channel. Circus and Associates is in the building. Raiders mama. Salute nation. We had the the memorial for okay, our daughter. Okay, Autumn. Um Win Rogers, okay. It was beautiful. Really want to thank the nation for supporting. Uh-huh. Our lost Raiderette. We love you. Okay. Ra- Raiders mama, I you know what? Let 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 me do this. If 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 you if you are okay with that. Um is 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 it is it okay if I if I pray for for your family right now? Um let let me know. Let me know in the chat. If you say yes, then then I'll do it. But if you if you don't, that's that's perfectly fine. Uh let me know Raiders mama if I can if I can pray for um Pray for you now, live, uh, for for your family, um, you know, through 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 your tough time, um, definitely. Here here at Raider Twan, we 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 pause for all that stuff. Uh, so if if that's something you would like, um, I I I will definitely uh do that. And again, here here our congregation, we 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 allow that here. And respect that. Raphael, good to see you. Good to see you, Raphael. Doppler Doppler gang, good to see you, man. Hope all it will hope all is well. Blessings to you on today. Okay. Okay, she she said yes. Okay. So you guys you guys know how I get down here. Um we uh I'm going to pray for uh for Raider Mama and her family. Um those those of faith you guys can pray with me if you guys don't want to um please please just respect the time. Um, and, and, and we'll, 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 we'll get back to the Raider stuff, but I definitely want to pause, um, for this moment. So, uh, let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you, Lord, for, um, allowing us to see another day. 
I ask you, Lord, in the name of Jesus to um, bless Raider Mama um, and her family in this tough time. Um, sometimes we may not understand why or how or questions may be going on in our lives. Um, and I just ask you, Lord, to give understanding and clarity um, in this tough time. Father, I ask you, Lord, to bless um, Autumn and, and, and with a beautiful name, um, but Autumn and, and those that are connected to her. Maybe she has some brothers. Maybe she has some sisters. Um, and they may be going through what they're going through, even in this time of bereavement. Um, touch Raider Mama um, as she may have to answer some of those questions and, and while dealing with her own questions um, I ask you Lord to just give them peace I ask you Lord to, to give them resources um, during this time there might be some financial things that they may be looking for uh, financial things that they be, may be needing and Father I just believe that you are a provider in our time of need. So I just ask you, Lord, to touch them um, with your spirit, wrap your arms of love and care around them. Let them know that they have family near and far that are, are, are praying with them and that are with them in, in love and in spirit. We just love you and give you praise for what you're going to do in the healing process uh, of bereavement. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. God bless you, Raider Mama. Um, you know, you can always come here on Raider Twan's channel um, and, and hit me up. If you need to hit me up, if you have IG, you can hit me up on IG. Um, one of the mods, please make sure you 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 put the link in the chat for, for Raider Mama. Uh, hit me up if you need someone uh, to, to talk to, if you need some more prayer or, or, or whatever. Um, I'm here to... Um, to my best ability, um, support you in, in your, in your, your time of, of bereavement. Know that it is a season. And I use that word seriously. It, it is a season because seasons change and with seasons, it gets hot, it gets cold and, and you're going to go through those in life. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go through that in this period in time. There's going to be times where it's going to be happy and you're going to, you know, it's going to be hot. And then there's going to be those times where it's, it's, it's sad and, 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 and low and cold. But no, even in all of that, um, that the Lord is always going to be with you, whether, you, whether, you, <laughs> whether it's hot or cold in your season, know that the Lord is always going to be with you. Um, so. Uh, I'll be continue to pray for you and please give me updates um, as, as things go along, whether, whether it's on a live channel or if you hit me up on IG, I, I'm, I'm here to support you in that way. Everybody in the congregation, thank you guys so much for allowing for me to do that uh, and respecting, respecting the time, whether you believe or not. I, I really do. That that means a whole lot to me that you guys allow me to do so um, and allow that time for 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 another um, Raider family. So thank you. Yeah, Raider Roma, Roma, Romeo, all the all, all the playmakers, all the playmakers are in. You know what I'm saying? And that's what that's what we need to see. Right? We got a new coach. Not every, you know, as much as some people went out and said, "Hey, I want AP." There might have been some guys that didn't want AP. Right? But to have the majority of those guys in buying in to, you know, buying into the system that, that, that is, is, is trust me is, is going to pay off in, in, in the long run. Uh, 
And let me do this. Let me do a special Red or Torn Brown Cracker salute to Autumn Wynn Rogers. Blessings. I love that name. Navy Vet is in here sending love. And many others in the chat. I see I see I see everybody. I don't want to highlight everybody's um but yeah, de definitely everybody's in here showing love and that's that's what it's about. That that that's what Raider Twan and the congregation is all about. It is 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 showing love. We may not necessarily agree with everything because you you may come over here and we might be arguing at each other but no 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 it's all in a place of love hey radio hey, hey radio romo you ain't lying jack jack jones the grinch is home hey you could tell you know, and, and if you guys have not, go and watch, you know what I'm saying, the player walk-up. I'll just say it like that. Go watch the player walk-up and see how he was just overly excited about being there and and and, and putting in the work. You know, it it and you could tell you could tell when someone's being fake and when someone's really being being genuine and jack jones was being as real as it could be and i agree with you romeo and i you know i said it too you know he feels like he's at home he feels like he's in a place where he can be his self and play Raider football. Egalitarian is in the building. Good to see you, man. All right, J-Dog, that's another reason why, if you heard, if you went to, if you, if you watched my other live, um, I said, Robert Splain is definitely a guy we have to pay. I, 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 I truly feel that Robert Splain is that middle linebacker. That 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 we've been been dying to have, but we need to have people. He needs a, he needs he needs a good working working mate, and I don't know. And this is just me. I don't know if Diablo's that. I don't know if Diablo is that. You know they had, like you like like and and I'm gonna use the the term the Bass Brothers, but you know you have the Bass Brothers, you got two of them, and they 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 work together, and they're just you know um 
I'm not completely sold on Diablo. If if it if it's left up to me, and it's coming up, for those that don't know, Diablo's contract is going to expire soon. So we're gonna to have to make a decision on if we're gonna to have to if we're gonna pay him or not. And um if it's left up to me, I would let I would let him walk. For what he's probably going to be asking for. Um of course, I think I think the way Telesco does business, he'll let him know. You know, when that time comes, he'll let them know, hey, I think you're worth X amount. And it'll be up to Diablo from there. But I'm not going to be overspending or overpaying for, in perspective, a linebacker that is a starter, but has injury issues too. And not always completely available. Yeah. That and, and that's what that's that's exactly what I've been talking about, J Dog, is the 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 press conferences. You can tell these guys are all in, ready to go. Um and and definitely um definitely are um ready. I, I <laughs> You know what I'm saying? As early as as these voluntary, they don't have to be there, but they're there, ready to work and ready to go. I I I I I, I like that. I really do. Circus Raider said AP. Also prove mm -hmm. <laughs> old ass vets aren't going to uh, aren't guaranteed a roster spot. Hey, he already said that. If they aren't if they aren't producing, Jimmy got benched, Peters got cut as soon as AP took over. Hey, he's been saying all offseason. Even before that, like you said, with, with the Peters and all that stuff, that it's going to be a competition. D-line, and, and, and this is why I was excited about the D-line. The guys that didn't produce left. The guys that produced, whether they were old or not, we kept them. Because... The oldest D lineman, John Jenkins, got re-signed. Why? Because he was a productive one. John Jenkins and Adam Butler were the most productive D D, D tackles. I'll just say D. I don't want to say D lineman because you'll probably be oh Max Crosby. No, I'm talking about D tackles. Okay. Those were the two most productive D tackles that we had on our roster. And we brought those guys back. And was like, hey, Tillery, you can walk. Bilal Nichols, which I, I really didn't like Bilal Nichols from the get. Um, you could walk. 
especially for the price that we were going that we were paying um uh, below nickels. Raider Felon, good to see you. Salute. So AP ain't for play play. Okay. A AP ain't coach AP ain't playing no games. AP stands for ain't playing. <laughs> and y'all heard that here first. AP stands for ain't playing. And he ain't playing around with these with these guys at all. Either you're going to put the work in or you can uh, find your way up out of here. We ain't just keeping people just to, 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 to make them happy. That ain't what time we on. Doppelganger, hey, that's exactly that. Hey, see you, you, you take, you taking my, you, you seem like you, you, you in my head a little bit. When it gets down to this fifty three, because of all the things we said, Circus said it, I said it, we've been talking about it. That fifty three is going to be a scary thing. Because there's competition everywhere. There's, I said it and, and, and I'm going to repeat it because that's the reality. There's only three people. There's only three people on this roster that are safe. Everybody else is legit competition. Max Crosby, Daniel Carlson, AJ Cole. Those are the only three that are safe. <laughs> and I like it. Everybody can, everybody's job can get pushed. Someone might say, oh, DA, hey, Jacoby Myers might push for that number one, that number one, number one, because you guys know I believe that Jacoby Myers is a number one wide receiver. We actually are, are blessed that we have two number ones. Yes, sir. I see people saying, I, 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 I know I'm behind a little bit, but I'm seeing the amens and, and God is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get excited about that. Um, want to make sure I get all the football comments in. Yeah, J Dog. He's always hurt. And what else you say? And inconsistent. You know, some of it, hey, some of it is not some I'll say this, some of it is not completely his fault. Um 
You know, we we're we're turning a we're turning a a, a safety into a linebacker. <laughs> you know, there was there was a there was a few times where I saw him instead of tackling someone going forward, he was tackling and going backwards. Um, and that's just you know, um, but yeah, um. That's something that, in regards to uh, the money, Diablo, it's going to be something that we're we're definitely. That's going to be a point of discussion. So Cal said. So Cal Sal said. For some reason, it's pop, not popping up. So Cal Sal said, I think the days of overpay, overspending are over with Telesco. Hey, I've been saying that. I've been saying that. And that's a great thing. That is a great thing. Especially for all the years that we've been overspending on, on guys just to, just to bring them in. We were begging for for free agents to to come to the Raiders, you know what I'm saying, and had to throw a a, a whole bunch of extra M's <laughs> for them to come in. We ain't got to do that, and I don't think we are going to do that. People people call Telesco coupon Tom, but you know. I'm not I'm not going I'm not going to jump on that bandwagon but I will say that T Telesco ain't playing ain't playing with his money either. I, I haven't followed where Tillery went. I just know that Tillery was on his way out. And uh, I was glad about that because he didn't produce. I, you know, I, I, especially on a one year contract, you, you got, you either got to put in, you, you either got to get it, get it done or be one of those ones. Okay. And and obviously he was one of those ones. Thank you, D Menace. The link is there. Do what you do what you um do whatever you need to do. I'll just say it like that. Whatever you need to do. Um we all we all have issues, we all have things that are going on in our lives. And you guys know, you guys know what I say. You're a blessing. Be a blessing to someone else. So if you, um, if you can, you know, do so. And if you can't, that's perfectly fine. Hey boo. Hey, <laughs> I have I haven't did it in a while, so you know let, let me let me give you let let me let me do that one more time. Hey, hey boo. <laughs> Shout out to Mike Grill. He is in the building. Good to see you. Make sure I got got it. Lady got it. Yeah, 
Ra hey, Raider Mama, that's 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 what we're about here at Raider Twan. You know what I'm saying? You may not get that on other channels, and and they're okay to do whatever they do over there. But um, you know, we we definitely here um are 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 about what we just did today. So um definitely be be a part of it if you have not. Um please go ahead and subscribe. Those that are that are listening, please take a moment to um hit the like button. Fucking Stizan. Stizan. Hit that like button. Why? Because I like you. <laughs> and if you like the Raiders, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, oh, go ahead and subscribe. Um, let me make sure I get, get your guys' Raider gospel. Someone in the chat just sent 200 to help our family. Okay. Not, not my place to name the, uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, but no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and blessings to whoever was able to do that. Yeah. Don't, you, don't, don't, don't put that, don't put that business out there in the street, Raider Mama. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you, wh whoever that is. You know who you are. Thank you, and, and 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 I believe because you're a blessing, you'll be a blessing to someone else. And because you're being a blessing to someone else, the Lord is going to bless you for being a blessing. You see how that works? Let me say that again. You're a blessing. You're already a blessing because you're breathing and exhaling and 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 have life. You may have some aches and pains, but you're breathing. That is a blessing. So because of that, be a blessing to someone else. And because you're being a blessing to someone else, the Lord is going to bless you for being a blessing. That's my good word. You guys know I haven't gave you all good word in a minute. That That's my good word for this live. I have another one, but I, I might give it to you. But that, that, that just felt right to to say go and proper see things work work out all things work together for the good i do not stay in la raider paul i do not stay in la Unfortunately, I actually do need to make a trip to LA um, to catch up with all the all the LA people. Um, just not too long ago, um, I was hanging out with Dirty. We didn't even we didn't even take any pictures, and we should have took some pictures just so people didn't think that we were lying. Um, and we ran in. We we actually uh, we ate twice because I ate with Dirty um, one night. And then the 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 next next day, um, we went out to eat again, and we we ate with uh, Nutty Raider Nate. So uh, Dirty came up to where I'm at, um, and and we 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 caught up. So yeah, I'm in the Bay Area, Paul. I'm in the Bay Area, um, but yay, yeah, but that. O overall, let, let me get back to get back to the Raider stuff because you know people be mad because I I be not talking all all the time about the Raiders. Um, Cody Wire comes in. I think that's an upgrade that that definitely uh, makes us a little more comfortable um, with our offensive line. It also, to be honest with you, it also helps us in the draft um, because now. You know, teams can't predict exactly who we want or who we're going after. Um, because, you know, we're addressing certain things. Um, 
so that's a benefit. And, you know, it also is um, encouraging uh, this week uh, of the voluntary OTAs that it seems like everybody's buying in and the energy overall is um, at a high and is ready for um they're 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 not they're not uh like I said they're not um comfortable they're not comfortable the team the players the staff the overall organization is not comfortable and in this in this and in this place um there's certain times to be comfortable right but in this um in this state uh, uh, of of time um being uncomfortable is is the best situation to be put in and the best situation to be um best best situation to be in as 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 we move forward so hey Shout out to everybody in chat. Make sure you hit the like button. Why? Because I like you. Also, if you need prayer for you or your family members, hit me up on IG at Tuan Tuan, T-W-U-A-N, T-W-U-A-N. Like I say, your business is between me, you, and the Lord. I don't put your business out there on the street. I'm not going to run and tell whoever about your business. So you don't got to worry about that. Just hit me up on IG to let me know um, what I can be in prayer for. It of what's going on in your life. Here at Raider Twan, we are advocates for being an organ donor. So please be an organ donor. And that link is always in the description of all my videos and lives, okay? Also, remember, hit that like button. You fucking cold. Let me look in the camera to it. Hey, you guys go ahead and hit them likes. Why? Because I like you. All right, you clip that one right. And like I always say, you're a blessing. Be a blessing to someone else. And let's go. Raiders.